So I'm here with three uh, students that are currently going to Olin College, and they are first alumni. So they actually did this for at least one, or how many years do you guys do first? Four. Two. Six. Wow, four, two, and six. She went to high school for six years. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, you guys are now in college. What things changed, what things that happened in college were you not expecting when you went in? I was definitely not expecting to get into really hands-on work right away. In high school, there's a lot of theory, and they talked about applied work, but in uh, college, we've actually been able to do it. That's cool, and that's really unique because not every program is like that. So it sounds like Olin's got some good stuff going on. Now, what things, Daniel, they call you D-Bath, right? Yep. All right. So what kind of things did you learn from your experience with FIRST that you were able to apply when you got to college? Oh, most everything. Uh, just the experience of building the robot was so helpful when I got to my classes and built more robots. And uh, so I was in FIRST back when we had the microchip controllers. And in one of my classes, it was, hey, use the microchip compiler again. So I already knew it. So it kind of gives you guys a head start, get you, you know, back to your point, the hands-on kind of thing. Now you're back, you're volunteering. What are you guys doing here, and why Why did you come back? Why did you want to give the time to do this? First had a really large uh, impact on me. I think I was going for the marine biologist path in a freshman year of high school. You know, I liked robots, but marine biology was a lot of fun, and I got dragged into this robotics program because, you know, pretty cool, and hooked the rest of the way. Um, yeah. So why now you're here. What are you doing here? Why are you, what are you doing to give back? Give back? Right now, um, I'm a judge assistant, just a general volunteer, um, for the most part, I help with basically making sure the judges are happy. But it, in turn, since they're happy and they're free to do what they want, they can interact with the kids, inspire the kids, and actually in turn be inspired by them. That's awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming back and volunteering. Thanks for being on the video, and uh, good luck. Good luck with college. Thanks. You bet.